Now let's watch. Yeah, I, my favorite thing is actually the terrain. It just looks so unique. Like, so, so much depth, cliffs and hills and... English versus Delhi. So, okay. Hmm. And yes, they've actually, uh, in some of the press stuff I got, the, 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 the building where you see, like, the yellow glow, and it looks like there's futuristic holograms building. It's because in the campaign, it's a very uh, documentary focused thing where they have live footage and drone uh, camera angles of like the real locations that some of the campaign battles took place in. And they show like in modern times, holograms of what was, and they actually have that interface throughout the entire game. So that's why when they're building, you see like the holograms are supposed to represent like a passage of time. Uh, really cool aesthetic choice. Get him! Oh no! Watch your back! That's me. I always get rushed when I play an RTS. I'm bad at them. Alright, villagers with bows. That's an Age of Empires 3 thing. Should help in the early game. Like the building is so intricate. Feudal age Mongols versus Chinese. Very excited. To get some Asian factions going on. Well, you just built that. Oh, that's perfect. The Mongols are nomadic people. Hear that music? It's so good looking. I'm guessing they're gonna have uh, really good horse archers. Oh, they talked about this. You can hide in the woods now. Like a very Total War kind of thing. If you've ever played Total War. Oh, the ambush, dude! No! I'm just for the record. I am not a pro at any RTS. I am a pure, casual, put it on easy PvE god, right? Pub stomp. Normal AI. I like to build, 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 attack, move, end the game. But I, that's what I like about Age of Empires and all the best RTSs is that even if that's the way you go, they're very satisfying. But as a fa as a fan, I love to spectate high level RTS play. Like I love watching competitive StarCraft Two on Warty TV and stuff like that. Like just super fun to watch. I just have no qualms about even trying to be in that level, so anyone who wants to watch me play this, yell at me while I play it, that's fine. I'll take the advice. Imperial Age, oh, going back to Chinese versus Mongols. You look at the roads and stuff like they look so the towns actually look like real towns you know they look so good uh oh chinese artillery that's a lot of units I will never have an army that coordinated in my life. I wonder if that's a hero ability. It looks like it. That's so many people. 
I also like that you can put units on top of the walls. Music is so good. The Chinese crossbows. Damn, they're getting shredded, man. What are those? Oh, mobile trebuchets. It's a lot of units. All right, that looks awesome. It doesn't have the um. Oh, fall 2021, baby. Microsoft's gonna have a big year, big year. Um. So yeah, if you go back, like looking at some of the stuff later on. The graphics aren't like um, the most impressive thing. Like it's not like uh, if you remember Dawn of War one and Dawn of War two, and especially Company of Heroes, they're like groundbreaking visual games, uh, regardless of the fact that they're RTS. But the thing is, the scale of the towns and the structures, the roads, and then like some of these shots that like you get later on, like. The the army sizes are huge on top of the size of the towns and the fortresses. So like Siege Battles late game, if both armies are allowed to build, they're going to be ridiculous. There's going to be so many people. And then also you're trying to manage all the structures inside and you know, keep your production up. So I actually feel like the visual style, like look at that. Like that's so much units. And it looks like it's three different forces converging on one point. I actually feel like the, the graphics being a little bit scaled back per unit helps the entire scale of it. It makes it a lot more readable, um, which in a big battle, you're going to want to be able to, at a glance, know which units you're going to have to move and adjust and, and put in formation. That looks like they all turn. Yeah, I wonder if that's just a straight up move that captures or converts units. Like, I don't know. Very excited. There will be a beta in the summertime. I'm already uh, going to be in that thing. So I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to play some RTSs right now.